Janan Jakaya Lubumu was the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda from 1974 to 1977 and one of the most influential leaders of the modern church in Africa. He was arrested on February 1977 and died shortly after. Although the official account describes a car crash, it is generally accepted that he had earlier been murdered on the orders of the then president Idi Amin Dada for criticizing the excesses of his regime. After 38 years, in 2015, President Museveni declared February 16th a public holiday in honor of the former church leader who was killed on February 16th, 1977. As the day draws closer, a group of over 70 pilgrims led by former UPC party president Dr. Olara Otunu have embarked on a 500-kilometer journey from Kampala to Muchwin in Chitukum district. Those who are doing the full pilgrimage are 70, but we expect a whole army of people to join in down the way. It is only 510 kilometers from Namirembe to Muchwini. It will take the pilgrims 15 days of active walking. The pilgrimage started on Wednesday at Namirembe Cathedral and will end on February 14th, 2020 in Muchin Chitgum with the aim of tracing the historical final journey of the late Archbishop. The purpose is to trace exactly the final journey of Archbishop Janan Elohom, his final martyrdom journey. Otunu says Janan Luwum set a good example of rejecting extrajudicial killings and it is now a duty for every Ugandan to emulate the former church leader and promote human rights. Ugandans are saying this is wrong, this must stop, this is unacceptable. About his... Uh, incredible love for the people of God, about him uniting the people of Uganda. Phoebe Abel Wum, the second last born of the late Archbishop, is among the pilgrims. She was about eight years old when her father was killed. Abel says her father was and is still her role model and calls upon Ugandans to emulate his heroics. After my father was killed, I grew up at some point with the let's say some bitterness in my heart, thinking if this man wanted to, to serve God to that extent, why did he have a family? There are incidences as a child where you, you want your father and he's not there. She adds that she is happy that what her father stood against is no longer the norm and now she prays that there emerges another hero to fight against corruption. For me now what is alarming in Uganda is the level of corruption and the impunity that goes with that corruption. I wish somebody would stand up for anti-corruption the way my dad stood for for extra against extrajudicial killings. The pilgrims will spend two nights at Nigeria in Nakasongola district and will embark on the journey on Monday. <laughs>